A new portion of Frederick Back Park opened today in St. Michelle. It's the site of the old Miron Quarry and used to be a landfill. As Kelly Gregg reports, the park is acting as a power plant. At first glance, you might not recognize Frederick Back Park. That's because it used to look like this. It's the former site of the Miron Quarry, and for years, it was the city's dump. The honest truth, it was a dump and smelly, especially on windy days. But the garbage isn't gone. Instead, the city has built on top of it, trucking in 200,000 tons of soil. We won't bury any, any more uh, garbage, so uh, all the recycling, compost, all the things together, you know, the recuperation of uh, the, those biogas, I think uh, it shows. The inauguration was a celebration for St. Michel residents. In 2012, the site was supposed to be a composting center for Montreal. But residents didn't want the neighborhood to continue being a dumping ground. In the end, the plant was moved to the east end. But the site's past as a dump is on display. Here, some of the waste is immortalized as a work of art. There was a lot of garbage coming uh, that is still under, the, under the, the, the soil here. All the waste under the ground creates gas, and that brings us to these unusual looking bubbles. These are actually artistic covers for pipes, which bring the gas from here to a nearby power plant to create electricity. Already the city itself is using that for their own uh, buildings, and uh, La Tohu is, is the best example using that, so it's a matter of recuperate. There will be over 250 spheres dotting the landscape. A membrane was buried underground to protect against contamination. The total size of the park will be 192 hectares and will be completed in 2023. We hope to make of this space something like Central Park. In fact, it's bigger than the Mont Royal. Proving that the city's garbage is one borough's gold. Beautiful. Couldn't be happier. Kelly Gregg, CTV News.